Hello guys and welcome to this week's vlog. I hope you're all well and having a lovely day so far. So it is a Monday, I think it's like one-ish, something like that. I didn't vlog this morning just because I was sitting in my dressing gown at the table doing really boring work. I had to make a couple of orders for some campaigns coming up. I had to do my invoices, I had to send off like insights and statistics. That's a really hard word to say when you're wearing retainers, oh my god. Anyway, the plan for the rest of the day, I'm actually really struggling to speak at the moment. I have just changed my retainer tray. Oh my god, I actually can't talk. You have to change them every two weeks, um, and I changed mine this morning. So these are brand new, and it's taking a little bit to get used to them. So I need to tidy up my room. I have really let things build up. I've had quite a few parcels. I've been doing lots of filming and just various bits and bobs and it just piles up and up and up. And yes, I really need to tackle that. So I'm gonna do a deep clean at some point this week and then probably just tidy it up a little bit today. Um, another thing is I'm going to Ikea later with B, which is exciting because um, we have a shoe crisis in this household. We have way too many shoes and we need to get a shoe shelf. I'm thinking of just getting a bookshelf and hopefully it will fit into the like utility cupboard. If not, we'll just have to leave it in the hallway. So that's exciting. That also means I can drive my car. I've only driven my car twice and they were both really short drives. Um, I just haven't had time to drive it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Just received the most wonderful gift from the Soma London. Um, they're a jewellery brand, I'm sure you guys would have heard of them, um, but they just have the most stunning pieces. So I picked up this really dainty gold necklace, it's like a double necklace as well, so you kind of get two for the price of one. And then I also picked up this gorgeous bracelet here, which I'm just obsessed with. I love how chunky and how like the chains are kind of like irregular, I think it's really nice. So B and I are about to have some lunch, got avocado on toast with a poached egg, and I'm currently just looking at some lampshades because i really want to sort out the piano um it just doesn't feel right and i've never liked what's been like on the top of it so what i'm thinking is to have two books in the middle here probably not these ones i'm thinking just black books and then a lamp here and then some sort of vase with um i don't know pampas grass or something at the end here so we are en route to ikea i can see the pillars in front of us and can drive stuck in traffic for about half an hour. It's always so much traffic on the way to IKEA. So you have to buy, I think it comes with these shelves, but then you can yeah. add extra ones. So these ones are four pounds. We just want the white one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, And then like, we can fit like, it's a bit of an awkward thing because you can only fit like three. Yeah, we can only fit four in there. Yeah, that is annoying. Whereas if this one you can, this one you can't. Take our shoes off quickly. Out the um, <laughs> oh, that's really cool. I like how they've really touched it out. Do you think they're gonna have any nice blankets? I feel like they don't do nice blankets. I don't feel like they do either. That's too cream. Yeah, I agree. So, we're gonna get some laundry bits. We need a new washing basket and we need one of these, but they only have these ugly white ones, and then they have this one that looks like a praying mantis. So we're going to try to find some wooden ones online. We have literally whizzed through Ikea so quickly and have only picked up like five things, which is probably a world record throughout the entire world. So, yeah.
so this is what we've got from ikea we've got two candles these shelves they didn't have any white shelves left so we're gonna just paint these white these are for the bookshelf um then we got this bowl here because it's quite cute and then we've got this for our laundry okay and then here this is where all the mess is um that i normally try and hide from you guys um so here are all of our coats and then we have all of our shoes here which are just such a mess um so this here is the bookshelf that we've bought and we're going to build it here and either put it here or in here which again is a mess Alright guys, so here is an update. We have boots at the bottom and then we've got some trainers, 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 trainers. It all goes really well and then we've got a big empty space here and obviously we did buy these two extra shelves but we're now realising that we actually need four extra shelves so we might as well wait and get four white shelves and then take these two back. And we just found out that the IKEA in Wembley has them in stock. So we're now thinking we're going to drive there, but it's like a 40 minute drive. So we're going to wait for rush hour to go and then we're going to go. Also, guys, look how colourful our shoes are. It's like a <laughs> rainbow. <laughs> a rainbow of shoes. But it looks really good, doesn't it, guys? Oh, yeah, I love it. Let us know what you think. Um, it actually doesn't bother me too much of being in the hallway either. I thought it was going to be annoying, but it's fine. I think it looks really cool. You yeah. look really put together with all our shoes in one place. <laughs> yeah, we look like we've got our life together. Yeah. Okay, so I've just been doing a bit of work and now B has made some dinner. So we're gonna eat dinner and then drive all the way back to Ikea. So that'll be fun. We should go on like a drive through. I don't know if there is any there on the way. But we're about to eat dinner. Yeah, but we can just get like milkshake. There's something so fun about going to a drive through, even if you're not hungry or thirsty. They're just, they're just so much fun, aren't they? Okay, so Bee's made cabbage, broccoli, um, homemade chips, and then we've got like this um, vegetarian, what is it like broccoli and spinach or something like that? Okay, so in the car, ready for round two of right here. I can't actually believe that we're going again. It's like a 40 minute drive, but it's fine because we like driving, don't we? Yeah, and we're gonna go to a drive through. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so we took back the shelves and picked up six more. And we also picked up this humongous plant. <laughs> Very <laughs> happy about it. And here we've now discovered that the Wembley of IKEA is a million times better than the Croydon IKEA. There's so much more stuff, way more stock, and it's just huge. So yeah, I advise going here. We could put it in a like that. I think it's, yeah, I've got a basket, I like a basket. Um, you've got six more, do you think we need that many? I've got one just in case, I'll just come back then. Only four quid. Hi guys, and happy Thursday. Yep, it's a Thursday. Last time I saw you, it was Monday. Um, basically, I just wasn't feeling very well the last two days. But I woke up this morning, felt great, and back to my normal self, so that's really good. It is currently like 11 o'clock and I have got so much I need to do today. Like my to-do list is actually through the roof and I'm not sure how I'm gonna get it all done. I've literally been working since eight this morning and I've only got like two things done. So a <laughs> little bit of stress, um, but it's fine. Unfortunately, most of it is just sitting on my computer. So obviously I'm not gonna show you that because it's not very interesting. Also, I'm really feeling my makeup today. I've done like a really natural kind of like simple no makeup makeup look let me know if you guys would want a tutorial on this because i actually really enjoyed doing it they would but this makeup look was actually inspired by a instagram filter i think it was morley made i was using like this instagram filter and it looked stunning so then i put the filter on myself and i was like wow i wish it looked like this and then i was like oh maybe i could try recreate it as a makeup look so that's what i've done it's got it's quite like glowy and bronzy um and very like sun-kissed oh my god and i haven't even shown you guys what we picked up from ikea and the finished result of the bookshelf and everything so let me show you okay so this is our new plant and i absolutely love her i think she just sits in the space so nicely and brings a bit of life and color to the room just need to get her a nice big pot and oh my god guys this morning this mirror literally fell flat on the floor it literally tipped like this all the way down and I was like it is definitely smashed but it just so happened to be that I put down these two parcels on the floor and it landed on the parcel so it is completely fine but oh my god that was so scary I'm so glad it didn't break because I literally love this mirror and it's like 90 pounds okay so here is a much improved hallway it looks so much better now here is the shoe shelf slash bookshelf with all of the added shelves yeah, it actually looks a million times better. It's so satisfying um, seeing them all nicely lined up and neat. I also really want to switch out the hangers so they're all white because at the moment they're just a mix, but that's a job for another day. Um, and then here is just a big pile of clothes for charity. I'll show you it from this angle as well. There we go. So when you walk in the door, it looks like this. Oh, and I also gave this room a tidy. It's not a room, sorry, it's a cupboard. And again, this looks so much better. Um, we were going to put the uh, shoe shelf here, but I actually like it in the hallway, so I'm going to leave it there. But yeah, it's just a lot more neat and tidy now. Um, can probably put some more storage here maybe for like extra shoes, because I do still have a ton under my bed. Um, these ones here are like our everyday ones. Um, half of them are obviously bees and the other half are mine. Um, but yeah, I've still got loads of like heels and sandals and boots and stuff underneath my bed at the moment. Okay, so I thought I'd show you guys my process when I'm picking out new furniture or like new bits for the place. This is gonna sound so extra. But I do it on Photoshop because, because when you get like things for the home, it's obviously quite an investment and it's something that's gonna be in your home for ages. It's not the kind of thing that you can just buy and then chuck out so it's really hard to get right and I found like a lot of the times I buy something love it and then it arrives and I don't like it so I've learned to obviously think about it for a long time but I've also just started photoshopping things into the house and this has made such a difference so I'm currently looking for a new lamp and these are the three that I like so love this one here but I'm just trying to work out if it's going to be too big for the space because it's about 72 centimeters I'm just trying to see if it will even fit to begin with because what I really like is the thin black what you usually call these like poles and I think that looks really nice and then there's this one as well but this one is a lot smaller it will probably be like here so that could look kind of cute but and yeah I feel like when you're dressing something like this like a long thing like a, I don't know a console table or whatever 
you kind of need a bit of height especially because this wall here is just so like large and white and i don't really want to put anything on the wall because obviously i take my outfit photos like here and i just don't want it to be too busy so yeah this one is really cute it's like a marble one and i like that and it's got a bit of gold so it matches and then there's this one here but it's just a plain white and i'm thinking it's gonna be so white do you know what i mean guys anyway i just thought i'd show you that because it's a good little tip but if you don't have photoshop it doesn't matter you can use like programs such as canva which um pretty much do the same thing and they are for free i've just sat down for some lunch and i'm having egg on toast with cheese and that's probably kind of disgusting to a lot of people but i really like it so yeah that's what i'm having for lunch and i'm just still looking at lamps it is literally the hardest thing ever to choose a lamp so i have just picked up an amazon delivery um i think i made a really random order yesterday so i shall show you guys what i picked up <laughs> okay so these this is really cool so basically you kind of like hook these onto the back of the seat in the car and then you use it for your bags because i hate putting my nice bags on the floor of the car or like on the back seats because they kind of rock around so what you do is you just hang them on these so i think that's a really nice idea i picked up some resistant bands as well and they feel like nice and grippy too which is good so I'm guessing this is a strong one. And then I also picked up a mount for my phone um, when I'm driving and stuff. But yeah, look, it just kind of looks like this. Um, I'll show you guys how it looks in the car as well. Just messaging my mum about kittens um, because obviously we lost our cat and she's just really, really sad. I actually can't imagine what it's like being at home without him. I haven't actually been home yet. So I'm just sending her loads of kittens. Um, because hopefully we're going to get another couple. Hopefully we're going to rescue as well, which will be nice. Thinking of rescuing some from Greece, because obviously they just have like hundreds of kittens that need homes. And I'm just saying to not listen to my dad anyway. And then the final thing I picked up was this book, which is by Soho House called Eat, Drink, Nap. And it's like a lifestyle kind of book. Let me open it. So yeah, it's got a bit of everything in here. I've got like recipes, decor. Really beautiful photography, so I'm going to enjoy having a look through this. Okay, so next bit of work I need to do is to edit a video for a brand, and this should take me, hopefully, an hour, and then that will take me to three o'clock. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little trip down to the car to put these things in, because yeah, I don't have a place for them at the moment and I need to put my riding hat in the car, because at the moment it's just sitting in the hallway. Okay, so let's put this. Oh, it's really sticky. Oh. okay. Right, let's work out how I'm gonna do this. You know where it's best to put it. Kind of an awkward. I guess you should, you're supposed to probably put it on your windscreen, aren't you? But it doesn't actually fix, and the phone's really big. Okay, so these are the hooks. Let's put them onto the back of the chair. Oh no, I don't know if this is going to work. Oh no, it is, it is. And then this is the little hook. So that will work quite nicely, I think. I mean, it's not the most attractive thing. And people who are really into their cars will probably think that this is really ugly. But it's very practical. Also, I need to put this in the boot now because we had to move it for Mr or Mrs. Plant. Yeah. Guys, Dee's home from work. Oh. <laughs> hi, hi. She's just got a new pair of shoes from Topshop. On the sale. On sale. They're 30 lovely. quid. Bargain. Bargain. And I'm just currently sorting out, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like loads and loads of mess on the floor. And I need to sort it out because I'm shooting tomorrow, so I need to work out what I'm filming, what I'm shooting, all of that sort of stuff. Oh yeah, I love them. They're really cute. They're really cute. Yeah, look at these shoes guys, these are from New Look. They're just such a nice summer shoe. I think they're very pretty and they look quite expensive as well, don't they? Very cute. 
or this and this. Also really cute. Oh my god, I love them both. I think we're going to do both just to give them a bit of extra something. It has to be that or this. Yeah. With. Um, with. Anything. Um, any of these tops, basically. I was thinking maybe this, this, white, yeah. white, and a black blazer would be quite cool. Yeah. Okay, it's going to be 34 degrees tomorrow. I know, but that's what sort of the You've got to do what you got to do. Oh my god, are you bringing your car? Yeah, something like that. Okay, fine. Oh, yeah, I'm excited for this bit. It's really good. I really want a day drink tomorrow. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. But I need to work. I oh, yeah. Can't you make it part of your work? <laughs> <laughs> Look, we might actually do this before tomorrow. Okay, so here is all of my outfit planning ready for tomorrow. I'm shooting with Freya at 10 in the morning, so yeah, here's my little plan. Good morning guys and happy Friday. So I'm about to go shoot with Freya and it is literally 30 degrees outside, so it's gonna be a hot shoot today, um, but the weather is beautiful, so I'm really excited. Just making my morning smoothies, so I've got raspberries, banana, spinach, and I'm just going to add some wheatgrass powder, pumpkin seeds, peanut butter and honey. It actually looks minging, but I've just given it a taste test and it's amazing and obviously it's so healthy as well. Okay, so I'm ready to go shooting. i got my bag full up of lovely outfits. shooting I'm on outfit number four I think wearing this really cute one from Hollister Hiya how are you Hello. Hiya Hi. just picked up some sparkling water and a green juice um I feel like so dry right now in the mouth it's gross shooting Freya now in this really pretty dress. Oh, I actually love this. The background's nice. We literally take thousands. <laughs> no, we've one photo and we're done. <laughs> yeah. Good evening, guys. So I've barely vlogged today. I've been really, really bad, but it's just basically been so hot and it took Freya and I like twice as long to shoot as normal. We've started at 10 and I got home at 5 which is a long time for just shooting outfits. I don't really know what we were doing. Anyway since I have got home I had a really nice cold shower. I've just done my skincare and got into these pyjamas. These are, I always wear these ones in vlogs, I don't know why. Um, but these are from New Look. So I think they, I'm not sure if they'll be in stock, but if they are, I'll link them down below. So the plan for this evening is to have a really chilled one. I feel like everyone is just in the pub, but yeah, it's not really fancy yet. I just wanted to have a nice relaxed evening. I might do a face mask and I'm going to get some snacks. I've got loads of chocolate in the snack drawer. Um, and then I'll probably watch a movie as well. So that'd be really nice.
morning guys and happy Saturday. I never vlog on Saturday so this feels a little bit weird. So first job of the day is to go to Waitrose because we literally have no food in the house. Then I'm going to make some breakfast and then I need to work on my blog because I am going to put it out this week. I am, I am, I am. I've been saying that for so long and I've been putting it off. I don't know why. I think I'm subconsciously a little bit nervous for it just because I am such a perfectionist and I just want it to be exactly how I want it to be and because I am so new to it it's obviously not going to be perfect. So yeah that's my plan for day. This is my outfit of the day. So it is another really hot day in London today um, which is why I've just scraped back my hair because I just find that when it's hot my hair goes so dry and frizzy so I find that the best way is just to scrape it all back with loads of oil and that just keeps it nice and nourished and out my way. Um, I've also just done a really light bit of makeup i've just got my drunk elephant sunshine drops on and mascara and then a little bit of lip gloss this is my outfit of the day so this top is from hollister and i'm actually working with hollister on this video which is really exciting i'm going to be doing a haul for you guys later because you might have seen earlier on in the vlog i showed you guys a parcel oh what's going on with the light i'm not sure anyway yeah i showed you guys a hollister parcel so i'm going to show you guys what i picked up because i picked up some lovely pieces and then these trousers here are from pretty little thing i think they're quite Old, so i don't know if they still do them but if they do i'll link them down below quick waitrose haul for you guys we've got raspberries which is my fave thing to snack on uh, some brioche buns blueberries a spanish omelette um we've got some Velveeta, kale lemons and limes we've got some oats to make granola with feta orange juice uh corn eggs is another thing i love to snack on uh coffee baby bells, uh, hummus, eggs, Greek yogurt, avocado, bread, and my favorite dessert ever, which is the Waitrose Sicilian lemon tart. It is unreal. Guys, look at this avocado. How perfect is it? So nice, it's absolutely huge as well. Okay, so I've done bees poached egg and it came out pretty good. Now for my one, and I've just got some avocado on feta. I'll add some paprika as well and some lime. Oh, and the key to a poached egg is to add white wine vinegar because it means it holds it all together. Okay, just had breakfast, done a little bit of work, so now I'm going to show you guys what I picked up from Hollister and do a little try on haul kind of thing. So I'll start off with what I'm wearing today, um, this little bralette that I showed you guys earlier. I just think this is so cute and summery. I absolutely love the straps, they're like nice spaghetti straps, which I just find very flattering and I think it's very elegant. So it is this lovely ribbed material which is just so, so soft. It's also got a good amount of support to it. This is actually technically a bralette, but I am wearing it as a top. So yeah, it does have a good amount of support to it, but my favourite part is the back. Let me show you guys. I just think that is so pretty. It's all lace at the back and it's got a little pretty lace trim as well. And I love all of the detailing with the straps kind of crossing over and stuff like that. And yeah, I just thought it was a really lovely summer piece. I'd probably wear this with like mum jeans or mum shorts. It's also like really nice with an oversized shirt just chucked over the top. So this was £19 that I picked up in a size extra small. So I had to pick it up in black as well because I just loved it and I'm really happy that I did because I'm just obsessed with the way it fits. I feel like because it is so lovely and fitted you could easily go up a size if you want it to be a little bit more roomy but personally I love the way it fits like this. Yeah I just think the black is gorgeous and this is the kind of thing that I would actually wear out for dinner as just like a jeans and a nice top kind of thing. There we go. I just think that is so elegant and it's kind of a little bit sexy but not too much. So if I was wearing this out for dinner I'd probably wear it with like a long pair of black floaty trousers or maybe like a linen pair of trousers that would just look absolutely lovely. But yeah the fit of this is just everything. I love the way it comes perfectly above any pair of like high-waisted trousers. I just think it's very flattering so I'm very happy with this purchase. I also picked up this cardi here and it is definitely way too hot to be wearing cardies right now but yeah when I saw it on site I really liked it. So I actually picked this up in a size medium thinking I wanted it to be oversized but now I kind of wish that I went for my normal size just because it is a little bit big for me and it already has that slouchy look so yeah I really need to go size it up but yeah I think it's so cute so it's a really nice v-neck shape neckline um and the material oh my god the material is so soft it's almost like fluffy soft so it just feels super cozy and lovely so i just popped this top on with these trousers just because i was already wearing them but i actually think this is a really lovely outfit 
Can you imagine this with like some white trainers or something? I think that would look really, really lovely. But you could also definitely just wear this as like a loungewear around the house because it is just so nice and it feels very luxury as well. I also really love the details. So it's got these really nice big buttons and then it also just has a little tie here to pull it all in at the waist. Okay, next up we have the same but in black and I am aware that I sound like a broken record. I literally buy everything one in black, one in white, just because then you know that you're covered on all bases of all outfits. So yeah, just ignore my weird ways, but if you're also like that, then let me know. So I've actually been wearing it slightly off the shoulder because I kind of like the way that looks. It kind of just gives it a different feel to your normal cardigan, but you are obviously able to wear it normally like this. There we go, just like a normal V-neck, but I do kind of think it looks quite nice off shoulder. Makes it look a little bit more like dressy, I guess. And imagine like this with some black pair of skinny jeans, with a belt and like some boots or something like that in autumn I think that would look so chic um, I also picked this one up in a medium but again like I said I think just go for your normal size in this unless you want it to be really oversized okay so next up is this really cute outfit here um, you would have seen me wear this skirt yesterday when I was shooting with Freya um, so I'll start off with the skirt it's this really nice pale blue denim skirt um, with the kind of frayed edges at the bottom nice pockets it's also got back pockets and yeah it's just a really nice length as well it's like not too short you're not going to be paranoid about half your bum hanging out but it's also not too long so I do find it a really flattering shape I also love the way it is really nice and high-waisted with the belt loops too you have the option of adding a belt which is really good to know and yeah the website review said to go a size up because it comes up a little bit small so my normal size at Hollister is a size zero but I went for a size one I think Thing. yeah I got a size one but to be honest I think I should have just stuck to my normal size because it is a tiny bit big just around the waist but yeah it still fits so I'm going to keep this and I really really like it and I've just paired it with this plain black tee again this is Hollister of course I picked this up in a size extra small it's this really really lovely and soft black ribbed material and then it's just got this wrap detail around the front which just added something a little bit extra to quite a plain tee so yeah I think this is a really cute outfit and I would just pair this with some black converse and I think that would look really cool you guys already knew it was coming here is what the top looks like in white again it's just another really simple plain basic feels very snug but still nice and breathable as well i also picked up this bikini here um i actually already have this but in a like a leopard print and i absolutely love it i just find it really flattering it makes your boobs look really good and yeah they're always just really good quality when they're from hollister so thought i'd just get a plain black bikini because you can't go wrong and it always just looks so stylish whether they're on the beach or in a spa whatever yeah and i picked both the top and the bottoms in a size extra small and then i also picked up some underwear i actually got three pairs but i've lost the third i don't know where i've put it and these are actually part of their gilly hicks range i've actually already got quite a lot of their underwear because they always do really good deals i'm pretty sure i got these on a three for uh, I can't remember, but I'll put it down below. It's like three for 15, something like that. Their underwear is always really soft, really flattering and really comfortable as well. So um, yeah, I just picked up some black lacy ones, which is no shock because I pretty much only wear black lacy underwear. So there's this one here and it's got these really nice details on the side. Um, and this is just a normal thong. And then I also picked up these ones, which are a little bit more like of a classic everyday basic thong and it's got the gilly hicks all along at the top in elastic and this is what the back looks like and then the third pair that i cannot find were like a pair of comfortable kind of boxer style shorts so i'll pop a link down below as well because they are literally the comfiest things ever okay so time to work on my blog i've just got myself a snack of raspberries and white chocolate buttons which is kind of random but really good together and yeah i'm just sitting here and working bee's just gone to the park Okay, so I've just finished up work for the day. It is now seven o'clock and we're gonna go and get a wagon mama's, so that's exciting. Um, I've just changed my outfit slightly. Um, this top is from Zara. This chain is from Astro Mew. These, um, I already told you, pretty little thing. And then my sliders are from New Look. Okay, we are in wagon mama's. We've got some vegetable dumplings. Bee's got a katsu curry. We've got some vegetable tempura and pad just had my bad time as well, yum. 
So we just got home from Wagamama's and we are currently sitting in the garden. We've actually never been in the garden, um, which is kind of funny, but it's a lovely garden. There's also like a little terrace up there, but yeah, we've never explored it and I don't know why. Um, we've also just found out that you can actually open the windows in the apartment fully because everyone else is doing it and we don't know how to do it. So yeah, we're going to work that out, aren't we? Um, can I have some avocado on taste? Mm -hmm. With that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> like we're in the playground. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That'll be five pounds. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, guys, we have finally worked out how to open the window. Before it was only opening like that much, and you guys have already heard me complain a million times about how there's no ventilation. B has just worked out how you do it. Wait. I don't have a key in mine. Do you think it's the same one? Yeah, it must be. This is so good. She's done it again. This wow. is literally insane. Oh my god. Kate. What? That's really dangerous though. We could easily just like fall out. You're gonna have ventilation. That's amazing. I know, we can spar on our neighbours. I don't look like such an egg. Your hair's on a button, that's why. My head looks tiny. Yeah, B's got a tiny head and I've got a huge head. <laughs> we actually do have opposite size heads. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my god! Wow! So cool. um, guys, we were always wondering why we didn't get our windows clean. It's obviously just because we can clean them ourselves now. So it's kind of weird, I've got an entire window in my bedroom. Oh my god, wait, I'm going to go into my room and go out the window. He's in. <laughs> hey, we could just put chairs here and pretend we're on the balcony having a drink. <laughs> yeah, but we could have sit on the balcony. <laughs> yeah, we got our chairs. Guys, you don't understand how much difference this makes. The flat is normally so stuffy, but now it's going to be ventilated. I'm amazed. You're so happy. I actually am. <laughs> the plant's going to get nice, fresh air. Yeah. A breeze can come in while we're making a coffee. Yeah. Literally everywhere I walk, there's a breeze. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tidy up my room now, guys. Wish me luck. Right guys, so I've just tidied up my room and now I'm going to head to bed after all of that excitement of opening the windows. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you go like, subscribe, comment down below. It all means the world to me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.